Hello everybody, welcome to Ageless Rock. Today, I'm going to bring you to Rosale Town in Tuscany region in Italy to see Roselle Cyclopean Wall. It is believed that people from Iron Age culture built the polygonal wall because Villanovian artifacts that predate the Romans are found here. Roselle Cyclopean Wall is in Rosale Town. Rosale Town is an ancient town. It is about 60 kilometers from Kosa Cyclopean Wall. At about 170 meters above sea level, Rosale was once an ancient Roman town founded in 7th century but abandoned in 17th century. This little ancient town is famous for its polygonal cyclopean wall surrounding the area stretching approximately 3.3 kilometers long. However, when you zoom in with Google Earth, you will see that the south and west of the polygonal walls are relatively devoid of actual wall. The amazing cyclopean wall photos you see from the internet are mostly from north and east. These massive blocks used for the wall is believed not of Roman construction and therefore it is believed to have been built by the Etruscan. So they are also called Etruscan wall. Although some parts of the wall are low and some parts are high, the average height of the wall is about 7 meters tall. Many of the cyclopean stone blocks are ridiculously big. There are just too many 5-ton limestone blocks to make any sense here. Dragging the enormous blocks up the 160 meters high hilltop is definitely a mystery we will never solve. The animatic cyclopean monument in this archaeological site has no trace of how it was built. If we know where is the quarry, we will definitely find the path they dragged the megaton blocks. Look at this enormous block of limestone. If this is a crude block of stone, that means it was not shaped with chisel. Nobody in their right mind will polish off chisel marks for a crude wall. Also, this big block is on top of smaller blocks. Isn't that opposite to common sense? Notice that two gigantic blocks were lifted and placed on top of another big block. Dragging up the hill obviously wasn't even hard for ancient Etruscan. Block number 3 was even lifted to put on top of small blocks. I thought it should be the other way around. If I suggest to my construction manager that it is better to put three big blocks on top of small blocks, what do you think will happen to my engineering career? In comparison, the Great Wall of China 2700 years ago were not even long enough to be famous. They were just short walls of ramp earth and straw. The earliest castle in Italy is San Angelo Castle, built in 134 AD in Rome. Isn't it weird that it wasn't made with megalithic material? Did Romans and Etruscans regress after 834 years despite significant improvement in metal tools? As if walking on solid ground was not good enough, Ancient Etruscan even made blocks of them so that their feet were literally on rock-solid ground. Not only was shaping crude megalithic blocks easy, they also can spin them into smooth round pillars. If this is not high-tech machine cut, then I'm very sure Etruscan knew low-tech machine cut which they didn't share with anyone. These megalithic blocks are definitely the smoking gun. Were the Etruscans so concerned that the super stable megaton blocks of limestone moved from its original spot that they poured metals as clamps to make it even more stable? With megaton blocks and metal clamps, these structures were meant to last many centuries. If Etruscans did this, I wonder what is it here that the Etruscans wanted to do that will last for many centuries. According to archaeologists, this is what an Etruscan house looks like. Clearly, they were not concerned about earthquake. If they were, you will see at least half the height of the house is made up of megalithic blocks with metal clamps. Instead, 
we have metal clamps on megaton blocks with shape of a structure we don't even know what it is for. There is also another interesting oval shaped structure with futuristic design here. It is called amphitheater and is supposed to house 1200 spectators. However, this is rather peculiar to me because there is no seat for audience and no stage for performance. I think this structure deserves a second opinion. This structure with no seat and no stage looks like something else on technical drawing. You don't need to dig into the ground to have a flat surface for performance. If you are one of the 1200 spectators, you will definitely have difficulty watching the show. So, if you happen to come here on vacation, don't forget to count the megaton blocks, check out the oval shaped structure, test your strength and roll a pillar, and put a metal bar on the clamp so that the blocks won't go anywhere. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy my presentation on Rossell Cyclopean Wall and see you next time. Arrivederci, a presto.